Welcome to an overview of MSAT. We'll be looking at the five-step process to set the parameters, load a board file, tag nets and components using various methods, then perform the analysis and view the results. Step one is to choose a profile, either default EM profile or browse to a custom one that will be used to adjust the parameters for each of the 17 rules. Rule one profile from the tutorial will be used. While the file is loading, the general settings are checked for the proper units. All rules are off except Rule 1, visible by the green and red indicators. Manual selection of rules is still possible. Rule 1 covers traces over gaps in adjacent planes. The rule states any net crossing an adjacent plane is a violation, unless there is a stitching capacitor on either side. Observe the max distance to the capacitor and max distance for current diversion. Advanced properties provide more detail, such as a weighting factor and the net category selection. It's possible to choose fixed net categories or user-created ones. Changes to parameters can be saved to create a custom profile. Step two is to load, load a board design file. Preparations for auto tagging during import will save time. Observe 21 fixed categories and there are unlimited user defined categories. Before loading a design file, this is an opportunity to review general settings. General settings include cap values to be ignored, cap naming designators, and if the design file properties will be used for auto tagging. Custom tag definitions are possible through the tag configuration window, such as above one gigahertz, could be renamed, copied, removed, or create a new net category or new component category. User defined tags can be local or reside with a particular corporate library. With these preparations completed, the design file is ready for import. Browse to the MSAT Scenarios DSN file, choose Ignore, and continue in the Extract Check window for this particular demo file. The board file was successfully loaded. The auto tagger categories are noted. Di design file has now successfully been loaded into MSAT. Step 3 covers the tagging of nets and components that will be Assign tag definitions. Auto tagging is one method shown previously. Another automated method is the use of macro. Rule 1 for the tutorial is being used. VCC will be tagged power net, three nets will be tagged critical nets, and there are two stitching capacitors. Immediately, a new window notifies the user decoupling capacitors are assigned due to the tagging of VCC and ground. In an instant, all nets and components have their proper tag assignments. VCC is tagged as power, the criti three critical nets are tagged, the two coupling capacitors and stitching capacitors are all tagged. There are many ways to manu manually tag nets and components. One manual method is to highlight a component or net, use a single arrow to transfer items to the tag assignments, or a group with control click or shift click, or the double arrow, arrow to move all, use a reverse arrow to remove items, or the double arrow arrow to remove all. Another method is to use copy-paste. If these three nets were listed in a user spreadsheet, simply copy them from that list to the clipboard and paste here. There are many nets and components in a typical board file. Finding a particular net or group of nets can be challenging. Use of a query filter to find resistors, but not resistor packs, will be shown. All tagging steps are recorded in a log file. The user can select any of these steps and save them into a macro file for future use. The fourth step is to perform the analysis. From the main menu, select Run MSAT. The analysis will be performed quickly and the status reporting can be viewed at the bottom of the window. If it didn't run, check to see the license is valid under Help 
license manager. In the last step, the results report can be viewed three different ways, two text and one graphical. The HTML file is available from the main menu. Observe rule one, net crossing a split was the only rule analyzed and there are three violations. Clicking on the link reveals details about the settings and the location coordinates of the three violations. No capacitors were found on one, so that has a higher weighting. To view the violation results graphically, one of the two violation viewers are needed, either the Allegro violation viewer from IBM or the Pantheon MSAT viewer from Intercept Technology. This concludes the MSAT overview demonstration. We hope the information was helpful and you can see the potential for using MSAT to automate your PCB EMC design review. For more information, contact Moss Bay EDA.